Hello and welcome to another 2v2 Napoleon Total War multiplayer battle. This is a uh, battle that has, uh, it's going to be a little interesting. It is a no rules battle. So usually before you start a battle you have certain rules that are in place. Uh, most of the time being no fixed artillery, no unicorns, but uh, our opponent said, you know what, we don't want any of that. So um, this is also a low uh, volume, uh, or a low, uh, what do you call it, a low total min. So you got 80 men per unit per line infantry. So, but uh, because of that, we, me and Burnside decided to do a little bit of a hacky army. I got the Russians and brought two unicorns and a thing of rockets. Let's go ahead and get this thing cracking. Uh, and he brought a mortar two mortars and a howitzer now we are going up against the British and you know when they said no rules I don't know if they totally understood what they were doing maybe they're newer but they do have nine pounder nine pounder and the experimental howitzer over here over on this side they got a 12 pounder and a 12 pounder and uh, yeah they just said let's uh, do it to it so I set myself up in two different spots. I got my howitzer over here. Look at that. They already got one of them. That's unfortunate. The old 20 pound unicorn ripping it. But the reason why 20 pound uh, howitzer, right, 20 pound unicorns are illegal or just unicorns in general is because they can shoot super far all the way across the map. And uh, they're very deadly. So what's the plan? So we do got the big mortars and look that's another reason why the fixed mortars are a little bit illegal is because they can shoot halfway across the map as well now you'll also see some rockets coming in that is my other uh ticky tack thing i did so um just know that this is a very unique one this is not something that you see in the polling very often so uh, i figured i wanted to bring you a, a shot of this so what is the plan the plan is let our artillery do the work and set up a little base in the middle. Looks like uh, the British do want to get a little froggy. They bring five of their line infantry, a lot of high level guards, and yeah, all actually all all elite infantry over here. Oh, and so we're gonna eat that up with some artillery fire. The Prussians are kind of wanting to stay back and let the guns do the firing for them. I do bring a, Prus a Russian Jaeger. It doesn't look like the Prussians brought any light. Oh, wait, yeah, here's some Prussian Fusiliers. They are not bringing them up. They do have a lot of horses over here along with their general, so. Oh, I am raining down the rockets. Oh, they don't like that. But yeah, they're not wanting to cross the river. They just want to, they're very content with where they are. So I said, well, if you're not going to do that, let's go ahead and do a little skirmish. And the British are just hanging out on this hill. Burnside does have some swords and a lot of uh, Nazim Cadet infantry, which is just the basic line infantry for the Ottomans. He does have a couple of rifles. But for the most part, it is fairly straightforward and uh, it's just an artillery match. I do start to get a little bit of the uh, long range going in with my Jaegers and I did push them back because I was getting into their range a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, they're going to start dropping a little bit more. So they're very, very passive and I don't know, understand why. They don't really have the artillery to do this so honestly they probably should just come in and start firing away oh yeah and then my Jaegers are taking them down a little bit by a little bit and I don't even know if he notices this now he does decide to do a little something over here on this end because I do bring my other Jaegers up I do layer my boys so uh, but these are just militia, so they are not going to do good. I do have these guys in the wings. I'm not really looking at them. I'm worrying about the skirmishing over here. So they do get into me and get pretty much all my guys. I do start to notice it, though, now. And I do get my guys in position. And now I activate my horses after my militia are all dead. But, uh... As you can see, it is mayhem, and now they are layered up in guns. 
so this is pretty bad. Hopefully I can hold them off, but uh, yeah, now I do reposition, and it looks like I should be able to take this back down. Eight horses left for me there, 16 in the Hussars. These are some pretty nice horses, actually, for the Prussians, so I really need to have my guns do the work on them, and now I bring all my guns to bear. And they have no more cannons left, so that's good. Neutralize that one. They still have one more cannon left over there. I'm getting a little froggy with the British over here, as well as my partner Burnside. Uh, but yeah, great flanking position, and no one shooting across the river for him. And he can't shoot me back because he doesn't have the range. So it looks like we neutralized this entire threat over here. Now they have nothing over here as far as cavalry that will uh, affect us. Oh, quit shooting my boys, man. And now we can just keep firing away with the rockets. Ugh. And you can just see the rockets are doing great. Uh, I guess this is really the main engagement. Oh, he says, I forgot he did go charging it. He said, I'm just going to go for it. Oh. Oh, charge it uphill against foot guards. Probably not the wisest decision. We actually had a really good uh, position on him, but uh, he said, let's just go in. And he, you can see, boom, boom, that was ill-fated. Ouch, ouch town. And so what else does he have? He does have some stuff going on over here. I think he just won an engagement. I don't remember who he was fighting, but yeah, it's just him now. He has a couple more light infantry over there, little long rangers. I'm starting to get set up on this end. He does have something over here. We've got pressure fusiliers, foot guards, and foot guards. So actually a pretty nice assortment over there. What do we have in here? Musket, foot guards, and musketeers. So uh, I'm a little off class, but this is also a juicy target for my uh, unicorns and my rockets so I think I'm going to start to switch it up a little bit and aim at these guys here in just a second where are we aiming I got the rockets pointing over here I got the I don't think I have anything for me. I guess I'm putting over here as well oh that's rockets so. That's, I mean, that is the cool part of this game, is just the, uh, is just the gunpowder aspect. And look at that, I am actually whittling down some of these higher priced units. Foot guard's already down to 36, but, and I only lost 10 guys so far, so really well trained. Oh, now he's getting smart though, he's coming, he sees that there's an opening that I'm uh, exposing to and he says yeah let's push this and shoot across the river I am a little slow to react so actually I'm going to lose a couple here so let's watch that he sees his opening oh there he goes. Oh, oh 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 I do see it but too, a little too late I lost quite a bit of guys right there and they said no 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 oh look at this getting shot in the back basically for nothing. Yikes. So yeah, retreat, retreat, retreat. He should probably push a little bit better. Also over here, I'm trying to move my guys up here. He has some Prusel Fusiliers against my Russian Jaegers. It's really not a good trade, but it's the trade we're making. I push all the way back to the city thinking he's going to come across the bridge and that's exactly what he does. I do start focusing fire with my unicorns on right about this point here. You know, oh yeah. And that's exactly what happens. But look, he's stuck. So that's another thing. The bridges kind of are janky. So you gotta be careful. Uh, he's kind of stuck there. It's perfect targeting. I can probably need to move up my boys at this point, which it looks like I do here. And he is trying to bring everyone across the bridge, so I do need to start moving everyone up and getting them into position so they can start firing right away. And I do start doing that. And it looks like I also keep my... I, I refocus my artillery onto these groups. So at this point, he just needs to get in line. Just 
get in line and start fighting. That's uh, moving around too much. It's going to hurt you big time. So there he goes. He finally gets in line and he's going to start shooting back. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> and they're gone. Uh, do I get some other ones? Oh yeah, just a clump of boys. This is a... Uh, oh, I also decided that I do have a couple horses over here. Uh, lifeguard, Kozaks, and just Kozak. So, uh, pretty decent horses. And I'm going to send them over here. I do see the clump. I do see that I am about to get overwhelmed. I only got Musketeers, Jaegers, and another thing of Musketeers. So, if it's just these guys versus those, it's going to be game over for me pretty quick. Foot guards. Ah. I really should have focused a little bit more on this one. Since, oh my. Yeah, that was a great shot. I am getting these guys in position, but I do have to look at the British over here. And yep, they do start shooting me right away. And what are those? They are the. Uh. Cordnut? Codnut Rangers. Oh, but here we go. I do get my horses in. And they didn't see it. I don't get them in the square, and I do get the uh, good charge bonus with because they are Lancer units, and now they are running. And now Burnside also has his swords coming in to follow up. This is our big push. We need this to work, or this game could get real bad. Uh, it's kind of just a staring contest on this end, so I'm not really worried about it. I did kind of I did push off the bridge because they were shooting me up. Uh, but yep, at this point, we're just rolling them up. This is a total devastation on their end, and it was a total victory on ours. Uh, looks like they still do have the foot guards. I do need to get back in and shoot them. Uh, it looks like I do right here, and I am getting these guys into position. And I'm trying to get some cheap shots across the river right here. And I do, and I'm trying to send these musketeers to reinforce the middle. Oh, I do lose all my horses though. <laughs> Unfortunately, so all my horses are gone. But they did, they served a grand purpose. Foot guards. Walking. Walking will kill you in this game. Literally. Every time. Come on, get a couple more shots. Goodbye. Okay, so now he's just like, alright, I lost all my army. I'm just going to hide in this house. And then at that point we said, well, if you're just going to hide in the house, then we're just going to retreat all our guys over here. And going to take out the British. Which finally does look like there is some movement over here. Sorry, I probably did miss some good stuff. Uh, to get a horse charge uphill on these King's German Legion foot. Uh, it does look like our rockets. Oh, yeah, I do move the rockets into the fire position. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. What a beautiful game. And, uh, oh, also we got the unicorns popping them. So, British needs to start working his way over. And now the Prussian does see that I'm not going to mess with him. And he's just going to be his. Uh, us against the British, so he does seem to be coming out of the house and making a move over here, because honestly, it's just going to be real bad if he doesn't. Mm. So you can kind of see the advantages of having the long-range artillery. They aren't really sh uh, trying to come at us, which is uh, the whole reason to have long-range artillery. You just can't keep getting shot like this. And, uh, because you will lose. You will eventually lose. But, oh look, he is pressing the bridge to make his one last ditch effort. Oh, goodness. So, I, like I said, I don't think they realized what they were getting into when they said no rules. Alright, so we got foot guards and Prussian fusiliers, which are much better than my musketeers. However, I am bringing over my entire army over here, leaving one militia to guard the unicorn. But at this point, really, there's nothing 
Nothing really gonna hurt him, except for maybe this general. Does have some of these Libyan Bedouins. So, they are shooting them up. That is, give us three versus two. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and of course the artillery. Uh, over here, looks like the British are pushing, but they are pushing against houses. Uh, it does look like that it is a foot versus in rifles and Highland foot, there you go, uh, versus just the Zim Cadets. And with the house, the Zim Cadets actually should take that pretty easily. And here comes another rocket fire. Oh, boom! Rockets, I don't know how good they did. We're gonna find out here in a minute. Oh, I ran out of bullets, I am charging. And that is also because I do have my reinforcements finally here. And that is gonna be the end of the Prussians. Get my musketeers into their fusiliers. And I do end up losing that squad. So, or, those are the Bedouins, yep. Oh, it looks like the British player did finally come off his hill and decide to come and engage in the middle, but at this point, it's a little too late. I still have too many units. Uh, Burnside still has too many units. It's pretty much GG at this point. But let's finish it out and see what happens. Couple of Jaegers. Firewood, ready? Ooh, they're firing. They're killing. Come on, people, man. Oh, didn't even get a shot off. How sad. Oh, the Count Von Grimm. You know? It's got these musketeers still firing. Not 19 guys. They are in it to win it. And, yeah. I, like I said, I just have too many. Too much. Too much of too, too many things. Victory, oh, and he's calling it Glorious Victory, sir. Although this is still a nice little vantage point right here. Kind of hard to shoot from these guys. Man. That's so good. Oh, well, and the 88 foot fine. Finally decides to charge in. It's not going to be worth it. And they're running. And they all died. <laughs> oh, good game to our opponents. They fought they fought well. They don't I don't think they really understood what no rules meant, so I can't hold it against them too hard. But this is a, this is good that we got to I got to show you one oh, watch this. Boom! Oh, what a bad day after the victory. Oh no. But the general does get at least 10 more kills after that but and we're gonna finish him off with the rocket barrage we have to get into our opponents uh, it, it was fun and uh, hopefully they learned that uh, no rules means green fixed artillery and uh, right, we'll uh, see it next, next time so let's see the MVPs here uh, looks like we brought substantially more about 200 more a piece per army I ended up killing about 300 more, so it looks like I took home the MVP on this one. Uh, let's see who was the best units here. The Jaegers end up getting 120 kills, along with the Musketeers at almost 120 rockets. My goodness, 93. I didn't know that they did that good. Uh, unicorns got 64 and 50 a pop, and this unit of Musketeers got 70. Anyone just not do anything? The Musketeers were in reserve the whole time, so they just didn't do anything. So. I had a whole nother line, 79, and uh, this uh, 77. So, yeah, there was plenty of people to spare. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.